Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty. I am super excited to be here. You guys, I just did a Sephora haul, so definitely check out that video. I'll leave the link down below. So without further ado, let's get into this video while I try out these new products that I just got from Sephora. So first off, I wanna start by using the uh, primer from Gucci. I really love this primer. Um, I like to press product in other than rubbing it in. And I think you guys would like um, to do that too. Let's start with brows. I'm just gonna, you know, get my brows groomed here. And I'm using my dual-sided brush from Chanel. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna give you guys the number and I'll also leave it down below. This is the dual-ended brow in N207, very sleek easy to travel. It also has a brush on the next side. Going into brows, we are going to go in with the number five black brown from Benefit. I definitely am excited to try this. Very sleek. I do remember this. And on one side is a mechanical pencil. And this also has a brush on that next side as well. Just, so just a mechanical pencil that you just screw up. All right, so that is it swatched. So not too black, not too brown. And I think it's a, like a perfect match. Now you've gotta be careful with these mechanical pencils because sometimes if you have it out too much, it would literally break on you. So I'm just gonna faintly contour out the bottom of my brows and I'm starting over here by my nose bridge because unfortunately my brows don't start out that far and I'm just gonna draw like hair strokes upward and this is working beautifully you guys so if you're looking for a brow product this is really nice actually I'm gonna try the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pot um, I've heard nothing but great things about that one as well. So I need to try that too. And I'm just going to go in with the, the full filter from Huda. This is what it looks like. Just can't wait to use this. I'm going to swatch it for you all too so you can see it close up. That's what that looks like. It's a beautiful yellow color. Um, I'm just going to use this under my brows. It's interesting, this applicator, um, I'm assuming it is more ergonomic for getting like underneath the eye area. It's going to get underneath the brows. I'm using my Scott Barnes number 60 brush to do that. I do love this brush because it is all about precision. All right, we're gonna go into the Gucci foundation. I'm just gonna shake this up a little bit. Just make sure all the ingredients is evenly. Oh, you guys, do you see how watery this is? Okay, so this is much different from my 380. Huh. Uh, it matches me beautifully. Taking it down the neck. We'll just roll with it for the sake of this video. It's so low in viscosity that it's pretty much water coming out of a bottle. I'm gonna try a little bit more of this. It's not as brightening as I as I thought, so I don't know if there's a a color up from this. It's easy to blend. It doesn't dry down fast, which is really good because sometimes when concealers dry down super duper fast, it can be more of a nuisance <laughs> to you with blending it out. And of course, when that happens, you just use your setting spray. Okay, I talked about this in my other video. I do have on the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask right now. You guys, I'm in love with this. I am in love with this product. Um, the first time I learned about this product was from Octavia B. 
So I'm definitely going to um, keep purchasing this product because it it does make my lips feel soft. And I do do a lip scrub before using this, especially when I go to bed at night, just because I am a matte lipstick wearer. So if you are one, then that's your tip. Laneige also has a really great sleeping mask. I highly suggest that one. And I'm gonna just blend this out. I'm gonna try the Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt. I showed this in my previous video. Um, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see. It's beautiful packaging. And it has the brush on one side, which is interesting. I don't know if you guys can see. It has like these little um, protrusions coming out at the top. And I know Mario said that you can separate it to clean it and also to use it, but um, I'm not gonna use this brush. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm using my Scott Barnes number 61 brush. And we're just gonna, this one I really love because it's great for contouring, especially down the nose. I've showed this brush a ton. Okay, what I love about this is that it is soft and it's less aggressive in color than the contour sticks that I have. It's beautiful. It blends like a dream. It like melts into the skin. Okay. What was I expecting though? It's Mario. I was I expecting anything different? Not really. Here, right into the sockets of my jawline. And like Mario says, you want to keep this away from, um, you know, getting onto the smile lines. Okay, so a little bit of this goes a long way. <laughs> I have not done like contouring in such a long time, but it does work, especially during the holidays when you've eaten a lot of food and you need to snatch things in. It works. And Huda also taught us a trick back in the day and snatching the neck, but my neck is already long and narrow. So, but if you want to recede things back, that's when contouring really becomes, you know, beneficial. We're going to try Kunafa, um, this setting powder, beautiful pack. Oh, beautiful packaging. So beautiful. And oh, okay. So you turn it to open it. And then that's your powder in there. Do you guys remember the Sasha Buttercup back in the day? This reminds me of that. I want to see, you know, if you all remember, like with Fenty, I love the, the honey setting powder. However, there's such a learning curve with that. Like you can't use it directly under your eyes or it's going to dry. I want to see if this is going to be the same and it is not. It is not. Okay, um, you, you guys, I wanna bring you in really close. Let me try a little bit more. I just wanna set further down here, like around my mouth area, right in here. Okay, that Gucci foundation is super duper oily. Um, I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed my 380N. Just sitting back so you all can really see this. It's so beautiful. It's not leaving any cracking under my eyes. I'm super excited to try this Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes number 62 brush. This is like an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just gonna go into this Venetian red shade. This is pigmented, you guys. Okay, take your time with this product. And I'm just going right into my transition area really concentrating right there. Not taking it too high into that brow bone. Okay, friends, I'm gonna use the Anastasia brush that came with this. 
this flat side just to get on my lids with this beautiful color called Love Letter. Oh, oh, hello. Hi, how are you? You guys, this is gorgeous. Oh, it reminds me of a beautiful, let's try it with, let's try it with my fingers too. I just wanna see if I'm missing out. Yes, I am. It's beautiful with a brush, but with your fingers, you get, of course, more pigment. I'm going to go into my Stilazzi Large Shadow Fluffing Brush, Fluff Brush. Uh, this one is the L212, and I'm going to try that Cypress Amber shade, which is this dark brown chocolatey shade. This would be great mixed with that love letter right next door if you just want to do two colors just all over the eye. But I'm going to take this right into the outskirts. Of my eye just to deepen it uh, just gonna go in this outer V not taking it all the way and I'm just gonna clean this up with concealer at the end this is the Anastasia brush I'm just using this fluffy side and I'm just gonna buff out this brown shade just a little bit just to make it less harsh you know Okay, going in with the color Tempera. Tempera. I wanna take this in the inner corner. So that's this color here. Just to see. Um, let me blend this out some more. Wow, I was not expecting this to really show like that, but it did. Okay, so I am shocked by this palette. And this is a really good purchase. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the next side and I'll be right back. So let's try Auntie Pat's Night Bloom. Let's try the Night Bloom. So we've got this, it's a lot of pigment. As we know, Pat McGrath is gonna give us a lot of pigment, which I love. All right, so we're gonna take this right here on the apples of the cheeks with a light hand. Of course, you can always build this up if you need to. This is stunning. All right, ladies, so let's get into a wrap up of everything that I used. I'm super excited about these purchases. The modern renaissance, I would say for me, is top notch. It is a game changer and I slept on this palette. Um, yeah, I slept on this palette. <laughs> if you're looking for a great everyday, you know, um, eyeshadow palette, this is that. The colors are pigmented. Colors that you don't think would show up on you, showed up on you. You guys saw that I used that white shade and that showed up on me beautifully. I can't really see the name of it, but it worked lovely in my inner corner. It does not translate over muddy, especially when you start using really pigmented colors and you start blending. This is gonna go where you place it. It blends out like a dream and the colors don't get muddy. The Divine Blush Duo, you know, Pat McGrath never, we, we all know Pat McGrath will never lead us wrong. She gives us pigment. She gives us packaging. She gives us a luxury experience. And that's what I can say about this blush. This did not disappoint me. Um, this was the only one left in Sephora, you all. So I was super excited when the essay went into that bottom drawer and she was like, oh my gosh, I only found one. I'm like, give it to me, it's mine. <laughs> so yes, Pat McGrath is always pushing the envelope and really improving upon herself. And just when you think it can't get any better, she surprises us and gives us something even that much more great. So. Yes, I'm in love with this. The next product that I'm in love with is Makeup by Mario. Yes, I love this because 
I don't have to warm this up on the back of my hands before using it. I can go directly onto the stick and I could use this. You all, I was not expecting to really love this product. I was, I didn't know what I was expecting from this product, but as you all saw, like it blend like a dream. It matched me beautifully. It went off soft. It was not aggressive. It was just a beautiful, just like he called it, a soft sculpt. It is a product that you don't think you're going to need until you use it. Love you, Makeup by Mario. I've been following him for a while. Um, Huda Beauty, another beautiful soul that I've been following for a while. This full filter concealer. You guys, this is a game changer. One that really gives you an airbrush look underneath the eyes, does not settle into creases in your eye. Um, gives you that wiggle room to go and drink coffee or get any, you know, and still be able to blend out beautifully. That's what I love. And I also love the messaging behind Huda's product about, you know, just shattering the beauty standard of what beauty is. Like that is powerful. And I think a lot of us can appreciate that. And especially locking arms with brands that have a really good message and a sound you know, just a sound love um, for the community at large and really wanting to see, you know, consumers enjoy their product. Huda, yes, thank you for the full filter concealer. Again, this color is praline. I will leave everything down below for my shade twins who wanna try this product. All right, this other product is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. I'm going after the large one. Yes, I'm glad I bought the mini, but I want the large one now. This is Kunafa. It does not crack underneath the eyes. It's not drying. It has some hydrating properties to it. I really love this, and I'm, I, I really appreciate um, the packaging as well. And for someone who travels, this is going to be one that I highly suggest because it's not going to leave powder all around in your bag or in your makeup bag because what happens is with this is that you take the top and you have to screw that on and it locks in place. So that's preventing the powder from, you know, spilling over into your toiletry bags and all of that. So yes, I love this. Of course, the oldie but goodie benefit. The Precisely My Brow. If you're looking for a really great brow product, um, I have some really great brow products, so I'm not knocking those, but this is a really good product. I slept on this one. I really did. I love the precision of this. I love that it's a mechanical pencil. I love that it, you know, it has a creamy consistency, but enough tug so that it doesn't break easily. And it's ultra fine, it's a twist up. You know, this is a really great pencil. The Kiss You Lip Mask. I talked about this in my Sephora haul video. This is a really good one. Definitely do a lip scrub with, you know, um, something that also has hydrating properties in it. I mentioned the Jouer um, Lip Scrub. I'll leave that down below this video as well. That is a really great lip scrub. It has shea butter in it. It has your hyaluronic acid and the sugar. Also sugar is not only bringing the cell turnover, but sugar, if you all didn't know, brings in a lot of moisture onto the skin. So love this in conjunction with the lip mask, um, with the lip scrub. I hope that Tasha would be thinking about coming out with a lip scrub. And I love to do this at night and sleep in it. And I also love to wear it during the day when I'm running errands like I did today. You clean this, you dip into it, you put it on your lips. A little bit of this goes a long way. You can be confident with this product. You all know that I love Gucci. I love anything Gucci. I love Gucci's ready to wear. I love their makeup, their bronzer. I can't talk enough about the primer, the bronzer, the face powder. Everything is so beautiful and lovely. I just did not find this one to be a wow for me just because it's super duper oily. The viscosity of it is so low, so it's very liquid-like. Um, you have to shake this up. I don't know how many times, I guess. I don't know. But the 380N, when Gucci first launched this foundation, it was 
of a higher viscosity. And what I loved is that it was just less oily. Um, this one is just super duper oily and uh, this is a no for me on honestly and that is it beautiful people leave your comments down below what you'd like me to review next or you know which one of these products you found to be your favorite um, leave that down below I'm really curious like subscribe and share and I will see you in my next one ciao for now